Hey everyone, it's Scott with NewPortraitBiz.com and what I want to do today is another short video kind of supporting a blog post I recently did and I shared how uh, there's a few things that uh, some people are making right now and uh, their images aren't looking as realistic and I just covered one before this on scaling and sizing your subjects appropriately when using digital backgrounds and props. Today what I want to talk about is the coloring, how you can color match. Uh, this here and make it look a lot more believable, a lot more realistic when you match the color tones in the picture. All right. And there's a lot of different ways you can do this, but I just want to go over the basics right now. And this here, you can play around with these different ones to get different results uh, depending on your image. Okay. So this here looks pretty good. Okay. Now some may say it's a little warm looking. I like it warm, but um, I'll show you how we can tone that down as well. But here's one here that looks a little bit cooler. And I see this more than I see this. Okay. I see it where the image looks like it was shot with a flash. It looks really flashy and it looks just kind of like it has a bluish cast. And that comes with the uh, white balance being uh, not set properly, or maybe it got misread if it was on auto or whatever. It doesn't really matter. But if this one right here, we wanted to just match this in here, we could do that one of probably a hundred different ways, but let's just pick one or two. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to show you the one that I covered in the blog post, which I'll leave that blog post link below this video in the description. But what I would do first is I would come in here and I would go to uh, image adjustments and I would go to photo filter and right there instantly, you'll see that it's already warmed it up. I can turn it on and off just to show you the difference. Now I can take the density and bring that up. Okay. But this is the warming filter 85. They've got warming filter LBA. Okay. Which is a little bit flatter and the warming filter here, which is just a, it's a different tone. That's all really it is. And if I pull that up, you can see, and that doesn't look that bad. If you look at those tones, it really does look close. It might look a little flat, which that's easy to do. If we just bump up the contrast, uh, in this particular, uh, subject, we can do that. There's a bunch of different ways you can do that, but I like that right there. So let's say, okay. And then now if I turn it back to the way it was to the way it is there, you can see that's drastically different. And that's just with that one little step. Now I might want to bump this up. Like I said, in the contrast, so I would just go to image adjustments, brightness, contrast, and then I can just take the contrast and pull this up just to give it a little bit more punch. And I turn that off. Now you can see that looks pretty good. Okay. I'm pretty happy with that. So that's how I would do that particular case if it was like the bluish cast. In this case, this might be too warm. So now we can do the same thing, image adjustments, and we can go to photo filter, and then we can go into the cooling filter. Okay. And there's a cooling filter LBB, and then there's a cooling filter 82. Okay. That one doesn't look as good as we can see. So maybe it's this one right here. That looks pretty good. Let's turn that off. And then the same thing, it might be a little flat. So I go image adjustments, brightness, contrast, and then I might want to just bump that up a little bit. And there you go. So now if I turn that one back on, that's the one I fixed before. And then there's that, that one. So this one here looks actually just a little bit, I don't want to say sharper, but it looks a little bit more punchy. And that one there looks a little bit more flat. So it's just depending, but they both could pass in this particular image now. So there's that one. And then this one here. Okay. So that's how that works. Super easy to do. That's just one way of doing it. Okay. Uh, there's other ways. I actually, I, I showed a couple other ways, um, in that blog post. So if you want to check that out, just head over to that post in, uh, I'll leave the link, like I said, below in the description box. So that's pretty much how you do it, but you want to get the color matching between the two, uh, as close as you can, cause that's going to make it more believable. I actually did one recently too, and I'll leave that in the description with an overlay where I showed how I took an overlay, um, and I went and I put it over top of it and I dropped down the opacity and all that good stuff. So rather than explain it, if you want to check that out, you can, but it's just another way of doing it. So that's it. That's going to wrap up this lesson. Once again, I'm Scott with newportraitbiz.com. If you haven't done so already and you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and like our channel and uh, you'll get all, uh, additional videos like this one right here, and you'll be notified when we release them. Or you can head over to our blog at newportraitbiz.com forward slash blog, or just newportraitbiz.com. And you can find all of the stuff like this over there and, uh, and even more stuff. There's a ton over there. Um, and you can also leave us a comment and let us know what you think, or let us know any videos that you'd like us to create in the future. So once again, I'm Scott with newportraitbiz.com. I'll talk to you later.